Alright, so we're about to make shrimp, broccoli, fettuccine. So this is a box of fettuccine. I want to take about half of this box. Not the whole box, depending on how many people you're cooking for. Um, I'm going to take about half of this box right here. So I'm going to get some water boiling. Take about half of this box. I want to take this. I'm going to break it in half right here. Let's get that in there like that. And this one escaped. As soon as it's in there, you want to start stirring it. You want to stir these like almost the entire time they're in here. Because if you leave these alone, they'll stick to the bottom of the pan. Like, fettuccine is really thin. All spaghetti is like really thin, but this right here will stick right to the bottom of the pan real quick if you if you neglect it. So pay close attention to the fettuccine. You want the one cube of this. This is called chicken boiling. This is gonna be most of where most of the flavor is coming from. One little cube. It just comes in little cubes like that, man. So you unwrap it, it looks like that. Throw that in there. So you want to take fresh garlic. This is fresh garlic. Not the one that comes in a, in a bottle, like diced up already. I take fresh garlic, I peel it, I get it down to that. I grab any old can and just open it up. See, opens up. These are ready to go. Open them up. You add the fresh garlic. Right in there. Get that going. I'm gonna keep stirring it. So I got the chicken boiling in there, got the garlic and the fettuccine. So now I'm, I wanna bring the heat up to high. I wanna bring the heat up. Keep stirring. Add the shrimp. Um, you want to get raw shrimp. You know, it's raw shrimp. You don't need to season it at all. Just peel the skin off. Take the tail off. Pile it up over here. Okay. Okay. Oh, this one's still got a tail. See? Some people leave the tail on. Take it. Boom. Just slip it right off. The fettuccine looks like it's ready. But I still want this to dry up. Like, I, I want the water to get out of there. Get rid of as much water as possible. The pasta is already soft enough, you know, but there's still already too much water. So I want to drain some of this water right here so that I can move forward with the alfredo. I want to drain this water. Alright, so that's enough right there. I'm gonna set this right back down on the stove and um, I'm gonna throw the shrimp in there as is. I'm gonna put carnation milk. Um, this is gonna be my substitute for the Alfredo sauce. Since I only use half the fettuccine, I'm gonna use half of the milk. I'm gonna stir this. And I'm gonna add the broccoli. So, so I just threw the shrimp and the carnation milk in there. Um, the broccoli takes two seconds to cook broccoli. The broccoli is gonna cook real quick. So this is fresh broccoli. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this dry up a little bit before I throw the broccoli in there. So my shrimp, my fettuccine, and carnation is in there. And now that this is, you know, got a little more dry, so you, now you can see the fettuccine, you can see the shrimp. The shrimp is cooked. Look how beautiful that shrimp is. The shrimp is getting there. Now I add the broccoli. Throw the broccoli in there. Go back to stirring. This is ready to serve right here. You don't want to let it sit for too long. Because, you know, with fettuccine, you know, it dries up really fast. You know, you let it settle for too long. It dries really fast, so. It has broccoli and shrimp. Fettuccine. I can 
incredible. Wow. Keep feeding you and feeding you and feeding you and feeding you.